Hey everyone, welcome back to Sekiro, where I definitely did not just spend 30 minutes recording an episode and have the footage be corrupted. Uh, definitely not. That's definitely not what happened. That's definitely not why I'm halfway through Harada Estate. Yeah, that's what happened. I have to come clean. Um, well, basically I screwed up because I noticed something screwy with the recording at the start and instead of stopping and taking a look at it I just like plowed on plowed on wait that's not the correct anyways turns out the footage ain't playing it's corrupted so we lost half an hour uh, unfortunately however you didn't really miss anything significant no bosses or anything like that the biggest thing that probably happened is that I picked up more prosthetic tools. The Loaded Axe, the Flame Vent, and the Shinobi Firecrackers. Pretty much the ones that you can get at this point. And I also picked up this Whirlwind Slash Combat Art. Otherwise we were just going through this area. And this is what I got up to. And when you think about it really, I did you guys a favor because this is where Harada Estates actually gets interesting, so, you know, instead of boring you with the, with the boring parts, um, I really like, did a mercy killing, almost, like on this guy, and I fucking got noticed immediately. Um, still. That ain't an issue because I'm not actually fully noticed. Because uh, these go these goons are like cool. They're idiots. They're searching for me. I do wonder if I can make that. Oh, hell yeah, you can. Shit! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Kill him quickly. Okay. Did the... Damn, this spear dude is like blind as a fucking bat, seriously. What an idiot. Cool. Oh yeah, I also got a couple of healing gourds. Uh, that's something that happened. This dude is difficult as fuck too. But you can give him a surprise. Oh yeah, and I got Mikiri, because I've been picking up like abilities. And you should be getting Mikiri. Because that's some good shit. It's a slash. Yeah, and getting Mikiri is, isn't actually that difficult. The timing in this game, when you get down to it, is... Naisu for prayer beads is actually fairly lenient. I say that confidently right now. We'll see where we are in like four episodes maybe. And of course we have a statue straight away. Which means that the boy is gonna turn in his prayer beads. Which increases our health. And that is about it I think. Okay, this area, um, yeah, you gotta, like, stealth over there. And sort of not stealth. Half stealth. This guy, I mean, they're sitting opposite each other, so one of them is for sure gonna notice you. course there's that dude but I'm well hidden I'm well hidden in the weeds oh yeah okay so that didn't exactly work out listen I forgot there's like fuck okay hold up hold up bruh That was just a... 
temporary little mistake. Oh, that is a nice detail. I've never noticed that. That it sets the ground on fire around him. Bruh. That is super cool. And what the fuck is... What the hell is this up here? Oh, shit. But then it's like... That's pointless, though. Because you just, like, vault yourself into line of sight with all these enemies. So it's like, that ain't that good. And I swear that there is some way to get up there behind the ogre thingy. But maybe not, because I just went for a swim and that was... a little bit pointless. Shit. Strafe. I mean, we might as well fight that thing. Uh, the real solution with those guys is uh, the Shinobi Firecracker. They're like not... They don't do well with this thing. Oh yeah, and this is an enemy you might want to dodge sometimes. Because uh, you're about to get fucking killed. How is this guy giving me more trouble than the Mikiri counter dude? Oh shit, that is some pro aim. Baseball swing. Baseball is pretty big in Japan. So no wonder this guy is a pro. Fog! Oh, 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 what was that noise I made? Screw you. That only took like all my HP. I mean... All my, what you call it, more like... Gourds. Okay, that was... That might have been a bad dodge. Anyways, these guys are easy as fuck. Yeah, bad times to be had all around. And I swear that there's a secret path here that I seem to remember. So yeah, there's, there should be some way to get up to this thing. And then you can just like stealth around or whatever. I mean, these guys still notice you, but whatever. Now that is a very dramatic entrance, isn't it? This place is so cool. And we actually have important dialogue. Good thing I didn't miss this part. That fire does look fucking good. Compared to like Demon Souls fire or Lost Eyes Live. Man, that looks good. Give me the key. He's like going through here and with his like crusty ass feet too. Interesting. Dude, the ground is on fire. I mean, I'm not, I'm doubting how important this dialogue is now. What, whatever. We'll plow on, as I say the second time. For John, that's like the proper one. Okay, shut the fuck up now. Yeah, he dead. She's gonna get lit up. 
on fire and we will never ever see him again is it are you fucking kidding me i always screw it up i always screw this part up well whatever i mean you're supposed to do like some badass jumps and still end up here but fuck it I just noticed what the fuck is up with my HP. Um, how did I lose even the little bit of HP I had? That's him. And I'm not even sure if it's possible to like stealth him. Shit, he goes in a fucking circle. What an asshole. There's two of them. There's two of them. How the fuck is there two of them? Um, I'm calling a tactical retreat. That was fucking ridiculous. I didn't know there was two of them. Shit. Oh, bruh. From behind? Okay. Take a look around next time, bitch. And I'm talking to myself here. Get out of there with your weak-ass shield. Taking on multiple enemies is really not what you're meant to do in this game. Luckily, these guys are bitches. I say as I'm getting my ass kicked. That's how much of a Sekiro pro I am. Come on. I really want to... Maybe this flame vent is pretty cool. Um, I may have spent some time in the previous episode kind of railing against it. Saying that it's useless. Um, changing my tune maybe right now. Some classic Ninja Gaiden shit here. With interesting camera angles. However, the real rub here is the fucking checkpoint. That's what I'm here for. Because this has been... Not has been, but this has been <laughs> sorely missed. Okay, so I'm not gonna, you know avoid spoilers here like th there is a boss coming up a pretty tough one as well I think so oh, fuck it why not these are useful right I think they are question is do we go through snake area or do we continue here we are going through snake area um I feel like that part of Hirata Estates is fairly difficult. I find the boss to be challenging. Mini boss, technically, but still. He is a full boss in my heart. Uh, so we're going through here. Bro, <laughs> come on with the mid-air grappling hook. Thanks. Um, I've not managed to figure out that technique up to now. Oh, shit. I'm 
Big ass snake. Who we're going to be kind of an asshole to throughout this entire game, uh, as you'll see. Sekiro and giant snakes are not the biggest fans of each other. But as I've said, as I've pointed out in the the last episode, we shall call it. Um, you kill a fucked up amount of animals in this game. Like... Like, seriously. And this dude doesn't mess around. If there is an animal to be killed, he's gonna kill it. Just how he do. Especially if they're like some super endangered, like rare ass mythical snake. Sekiro's gonna fuck that up. Get ready. Eat shit, snake. What an asshole, seriously. Of course we pissed off the snake. So we gotta run like an absolute bitch. Or we're gonna get crushed. Are you proud of yourself, Sekiro? I wouldn't be. You Spider-Man your way up here. Anyways. Let's just continue on. We'll continue to ignore the snake murder. Well, technically not murder. So yeah, there is this guy mourning his horse. Giving you a little bit of a hint here. Just a little bit. Just a tiny nudge. That maybe Robert's firecracker is really fucking useful. And we're gonna murder him. Fuck you and your horse. That's the attitude of this game. And if I remember correctly, there's like a um, little memory vision thingy we can see here, but I'm gonna clear out this area before we move on. Am I finally gonna be able to get a cool stealth kill? Hell yeah, I am. I mean, the rest of these guys have noticed me, but that shit don't matter. Get out of here with your weak-ass gun. I mean, are they this blind? Seriously? <gasps> They're so stupid. I appreciate that. Thank fuck for stealth game AI. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they noticed me. So these guys are gonna have a bad time. Yeah, don't even mind about all your friends suddenly getting murdered around you. Sure nothing bad is gonna happen.
Nice. Cash. Most important thing. This is the one. Little ghost thing is. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm offline because I I turned off my PS4 and I was too lazy to go back online. I'm not gonna see the other messages. Blah blah blah. Kuro's being a little bitch again. I'm only kidding, of course. So yeah, these two are kind of friends. Not really. Uh, should I do this? I mean... I guess there's not much else to go through or do. Mm, fuck it. I mean, purely because of this guy, uh, you should always play on the Japanese voice. This guy's voice actor is so goddamn sick. Uh, I love this dude, this voice actor. So yeah, first boss. Um, the only advantage we have here is that um, if you clear out Hirata Estates, at least, at least, at least Partially, you're gonna be pretty strong. Because you're gonna have your first prayer bead by this point. Whoops, get back to healing gourds. Whoa, okay. God, he's fast too. Sorry, Gyobu Oniva. You're awesome, but... Um, I keep pressing... Yeah, that is me pressing the wrong button. Don't, like, ignore me. Um, that, I'm, that I want to grapple onto him. Ouch. Ouch you. That's the right bitch. Yeah, that's what you're meant to do. Thanks, game. For the clear camera angle. I mean, if you have the mid-air attack, you're gonna fuck this dude up. No! Shit. Took me a long time to figure out too that Gyobu is his like position. It's not his name. Because I used to think when he said that you will not take this Gyobu's head that it was like a weird like mistranslation. Or like he's referring to himself in the third person. But then I realized that it's his position, not his name. Unseen Eidu. My favorite. Could listen to this guy all day and I don't know what the fuck I was standing there for. God, this guy is hard to deflect, too. Ok, 
Okay, that was a good sequence. What the shit is that? What the hell was that? Okay, never mind. Come on. Yes, give it. Pretty cool. Cool. Mid air attack. Ooh, he's fast. Heal. Gore this bitch up. I don't know what that is. That's a grab. That's a grab. Okay. I think the other one was like a Makiri attack. Is he dead? He's dead. Sorry, Gyobu. As cool as your voice actor is. At least we didn't kill your horse. As it fucking gets Thanos snapped out of existence along with him. Cool. Mechanical bear. What does this do? What does that do? Oh, that's the upgrade thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, sorry you guys were Thanos snapped. Um, not much I can do about that. Hey, this was like a very nice, concise little episode. There isn't even that much I have to like edit out of this because this was like... I love it when an episode turns out like this. Oh uh, yeah, you get multiplayer too as well. Go for the attack, but like, why why doesn't this happen automatically? Kyobu Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated by his show of strength that he took blah 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 blah. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. That wraps up episode Trace of Sekiro. This was a really cool, I, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, sorry about the last episode, but... Then again, you're never gonna see it, so are you really missing out on anything? Not really. Um, I feel like this one made up for it, because I had a whale of a time here. As we look out onto this not very interesting vista, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Oh, that is a good vista. Um, hope you enjoyed episode 3 of Sekiro. As always, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure I'm in the face cam. Turn on post notifications as always, and I'll catch all of you next time. Take care, peace out, and goodbye.